All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hey, everybody. Um, this is actually the last workshop of the year, so I don't have an upcoming workshop slide this time around, but uh, excited to be talking about advanced search today. Uh, we have a filters tool within mail charts that I think will be pretty helpful for all of you when you're looking for some inspiration. So I'll go through some tips and tricks using the apparel group, which is the one that is unlocked this week. My name is Megan. I work on the mail charts team here um, and I'm also an e-commerce email marketer. So I'm constantly using this tool pretty much weekly to help build campaigns, um, get inspiration and plan for future calendar. So that'll be kind of what we're talking about through today. Uh, what we'll cover in totality, we'll talk about the importance of competitive intelligence, which I probably don't need to tell you about. Um, we all know that it is important. So uh, we'll talk about that, why MailCharts makes that easy, and then we'll dive into the app and I'll show you some of those filtering abilities as well as some tips and tricks for planning out calendars, specifically um, using that apparel group, but also looking at planning out January calendar. Um, and then we'll talk about some of those tips and takeaways and end with any questions that you have. So competitive research, uh, we all know it's important, but it typically falls to the wayside. I think it's really um, the last thing on the to-do list typically. I know we have everything from planning the actual calendar to implementing that, whether it be copy, design, um, actual coding the emails. Um, so we have a lot on our plates. And so this typically falls to the wayside, but it is important so that we can stay up on trends and really dominate within our industry. So uh, we know it's important, but where's the time for it? Uh, MailCharts really helps make that competitive until quick. So within a few minutes, you can get inspiration. Again, I'll use January planning as an example today. And hopefully this, this workshop is, you know, pretty quick because of how quick and easy the filters are to use to get some inspiration for January calendar. Um, so it really helps you plan that out. Um, as our pro, a pro user of MailCharts, we have added a lot of team features. So uh, outside of the non-pro members, you do get the access to all of the MailCharts index, including industry groups, uh, all the campaigns and historical emails. You can collaborate with your team now with uh, custom team groups and lists, uh, which is really helpful when you do have designers that you're wanting to send and share uh, some of the, that, that creative with. And you can find inspiration, again, very quickly, just using those filters, building on filters, and using the existing curated lists that we have within the database. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the app. So today, again, we're talking about apparel. That is the unlocked group of the week this week. To find the unlocked groups, we're gonna to go to this tab. Um, the brands and the journeys are typically reserved again for those pro users, but we do have this emails tab that you can look through some of those curated lists that we've curated for you. Um, Non-industry specific, so you do kind of have that limitation and there's fewer emails here than in the historical database, but um, another way to kind of search through emails I would suggest is going here. Um, and then our unlocked groups here. This has our unlocked groups, unlocked brands, unlocked journeys. So most of our unlocked brands correlate to what's unlocked for the group this week. So you can see these brands that you can search through after this workshop. Um, but for today, I'm gonna walk through the apparel group and show you just how easy it is to apply these filters. So once you're in the industry group itself, we're gonna go to the email section. Apparel is a pretty robust group. We have close to 500 brands, close to a million emails. So you can um, you know, go in here and really drill down into the data, drill down into date range and see examples that you wanna see for planning out calendar. So this is all up to date. You can actually see emails that are coming in. We have things coming in real time all the time. Um, so you don't have like a 24 hour delay to get emails, which is a great uh, thing when you're planning out or just wanting to check in on competitors from the past few days and how people are doing and what promotions people are offering. But um, the true power comes with this filter option here. So this is where you can apply keywords, date range, 
classifications of emails, you know, all of the fun stuff here related to emails. So subject line, um, other options, emojis and GIFs, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. But for the first tip I'm gonna talk through is keyword searching. This is probably my most used filter that I use. Um, so for instance, I'm gonna actually choose last January as our search range. And say I am looking for specifically active wear emails that were sent in January of last year or this past year. Um, and because I want to feature our active wear apparel. So um, you can search for keywords contain active wear or you can search for the subject line only. I'll do subject line only. That usually is the most accurate in terms of an email specifically dedicated to active wear. Uh, so you can go in here and see all of the emails that pertain to active wear, um, see what people were sending last January, maybe, you know, see if there's messaging that we want to emulate for our campaigns this January. Uh, again, still a lot of like coats and outdoors type stuff that is being promoted um, because it is still like the winter time. So you can go through here and see you know, how others are marketing their different active wear, different leggings, that kind of thing. Um, or do an, another search entirely. You can search for different holidays too. So if you wanted to search MLK day, you could even search that. Um, here you can see some results for searching within that subject line that contains MLK. Uh, so when you do our, when you are planning for holidays or for specific products, or even like a specific topic, like rewards related emails where people are talking about the rewards programs, you can search those different keywords to drill down into that and really get a sense of how people are marketing that. So um, again, I think that's just the easiest tool to use or the easiest filter to use. And so I use it quite a bit because generally I know kind of what I'm wanting to search for. Um, and I'll talk here in a little bit too of like the subject line reports, if you don't have a starting place of topics, that's a great place to look to. Uh, for our second search, I'm gonna use the GIF filter. So I'm gonna search for emails that contain a GIF. I'm gonna use that date range again of last January. And you can add in, again, keywords, you can build on these. So say I want specifically new year, within the subject line, and it has a GIF within that email. The more filters apply, you apply, of course, the less emails you'll see in this results, but um, let's take a look at a few of these. So to actually activate a GIF, you click into the email, and then you click again to activate it. Um, so you can see here, they have a countdown timer here and some flashing text here to really catch your eye within the inbox. Um, we can see, another good one here, Fashion Nova, click to activate. So this is just a rotating image of some activewear gear. So again, popular time to promote that is in the new year with New Year's resolutions. You can get an idea of how people are putting those gifts together and share that with your designers on the team. The last um, kind of tip that I'll show you is searching by promotion type. So say you want to, I'm going to clear this GIF search. Uh, say you want to search for emails containing a specific promotion. Say in January, you're looking to plan a BOGO sale or you're looking to plan um, a semi-annual sale, any kind of um, sale period that you're looking to plan for. Definitely look again at the last year if we're looking at year over year comparing January to January and sorting by promotions. So you do have the ability to search by promotions and the type of promotion uh, as well as the amount of that promotion. So really great for if you are a less promotional brand or more promotional brand, you can filter by those things within this, this search tool. Uh, for, for our purposes, I'll say that we're just looking to run a buy one, get one free sale um, sometime in January. We already applied that January filter. So we're going to look at how people are messaging that. Here's a good one from Air Apostle. So buy one, get two free. So that's what they're really honing in on within this email itself. Um, we can look at some others. 
Uh, this is another good one from Banana Republic, but you can see it's not the main focus for this one as it was the Aeropostle one, but you can see it's a banner down here. So again, helpful for messaging, how other brands are messaging and how they're messaging, like overall what they're offering for BOGOs, whether it's buy one, get one, um, buy one, get one. 50% off, buy two, get one, um, that kind of language, you can see how they are messaging that so that you can, again, use that as a guide for creating your emails in 2022. Um, to actually save these emails, you can download these images. You can also add them to list. So this is actually a new team feature. So again, for you pro users out there, if you have a team within mail charts, you can create a collaboration list and add these examples to that. So say you want a January inspiration list, you can have that as a team. All of you can throw in your creative that you want to use as inspiration, and you can share that among your team and really collaborate on that list together. Um, and you can also still create your individual lists if you'd like to create a new list, name that list, and then all of your lists will end up here in your collections. Um, so you can add to list, download images, or you can directly share. So you can type in the email address of the recipient or simply just copy this link and it'll show a public link here of that image or that email image that we are looking to emulate for our design in 2022. So just a quick recap of the things we talked about. Uh, the keyword searching, again, probably my favorite functionality within the filters, allows you to really hone in on those different topics. Um, you know, New Year's, different types of products that you're launching, um, different focuses that you have for your upcoming calendar, if you do have some ideas of calendar and what you're looking to search for. Um, and then filtering for GIFs uh, or emails with emojis, you can add those filters to get some additional creative inspiration. It's really helpful for when you are in a rut, uh, you feel like you've said the same thing over and over again about the same products. Um, it's, a, it's a good way to kind of look at things through a fresh lens and get some more design and inspiration for your team. And then lastly, that promotion type, really helpful for when you're planning out any kind of promotion that you're offering, uh, just to see how others are messaging their promotions, um, who in your space is having a promotion and typically offers a promotion during that January timeframe. Anything like that um, is helpful for preparation and just, again, planning out that copy and getting your copy briefs and designs done. So with that, I wanna turn it over to you. Again, we try to keep these short and sweet because we A, want to show you how quick you can get this insight, but also give you some time to jump into the app before your next meeting. So um, using advanced search today, if you are not a pro user, you can still use advanced search within those curated lists within the email section or within the unlocked, the unlocked brands that are featured. Um, and then for the pro users, you can search within any of the emails as well as all the industry groups and brands here. So um, feel free to pick your industry if apparel is not your cup of tea uh, and take a look at those different email inspiration. As you get started, don't hesitate to reach out to us at hiatmailcharts.com. We're always happy to help. I know it's the holidays and we're all very busy. So um, if you don't reach out to us until 2022 about advanced search, um, you know, that's fine. Uh, we, we get it. We know everybody's busy, but we would love to hear what you're working on and if there's anything that we can do to help. And with that, any questions, there should be a Q&A button in the bottom bar of Zoom um, for you to submit any questions that you have. Can I bulk download examples from the search page? Yes, you can. So let me go back to our apparel group and I'll show you how to bulk download those, but you can, anytime you do a search, you can um, save multiple emails at one time versus having to go through individually. So say we want to filter by new year, subject line only search. You can select multiple emails here. 
and either add them to a list. So you can add them to one of your team lists or your individual lists, or you can out download those images, um, the CSV data. So if you want to take a look at subject lines, you can bulk export those. But yes, you can absolutely bulk export things so that you don't have to go in into each individual email and click that button. Um, helpful, again, if you're trying to share it out to your design team um, and they don't have access to mail charts. Um, where can I find my email lists if I save an email to a custom list? So all of your collections or anything that you save within MailCharts will go to your email lists or your groups. Um, any customizing that you do within the MailCharts app goes to your collections. Um, so again, this, this UI has changed a little bit the past week because we introduced team um, lists here, but you can see your email lists, so these are your individual lists as well as your team lists of any of those emails that you save into these lists um, moving forward. So again, if you wanted to create a list on January inspiration or Black Friday 2022 planning, which I think most of us don't wanna think about right now, but <laughs> you could definitely take a look at that. Um, but yeah, you can build those lists and have those saved so you don't have to keep doing the same searches over and over. Um, any tips for those who are unsure of what to put in their email calendar? So if you're at like a complete loss of, you know, what campaigns to add, you feel like you've talked about your activewear line plenty of times. We don't want to talk about it anymore. Um, to get some just inspiration on content, I recommend going into the subject lines report. So within those unlocked groups, if you are not a pro user, you can still look at the unlocked groups sub subject line reports. Um, and you can choose a date range for this. So say we did want to take a look at January. We could look at January and see the popular terms that were trending. So you can see that people are talking about outerwear, coats. Um, you can see activewear, January hoodie. Um, semi-annual, again, a great time for semi-annual sales. But if you're kind of at a loss of what to do, you can see what things were trending um, last January and actually click in to see the results for that. So this will basically apply that filter of activewear that we did. Um, and you can see all the search results here. I think that was the last question. But if, again, if you have any questions as you move forward, please reach out to us, hi at mailcharts.com. Um, we hope you have a great holiday. Uh, MailCharts offices will be closed the next two weeks, but um, I will still be helping out with some of the customer service questions that come in to hi at mailcharts.com, but please don't hesitate to reach out. We hope to see you in the new year and good luck with um, the remaining campaigns that you have this year.